Hello everyone. Welcome to Weekends with Amit. Now this weekend is a little different because unlike the usual Amit and Valentina taking part in the conversation, today we have a lot of people and that is for a reason. We will disclose the reason soon, but let us introduce all of the people who are there on the show today. Hello. All right. Now they are beginning to appear. This is a very, very close part of our family, uh, our quantum family. And we will soon know who these people are, what they do, and why they are here. But before that, as a customary gesture, first it is over to Amit Goswami, who will give an introduction of what is going on today. Over to Dr. Goswami. Thank you, Krishnanu. Hello, everyone. My job today is very simple. It is just to say that uh, we do perform a very important function of uh, making the quantum worldview its utilities to your uh, thinking, living, and uh, livelihood. And in that process, um, we also are very proud to uh, of this size, as we usually do, that we have a PhD program here, um, a master's program as well, and certification programs of education, the specialty is transformation. So we have a bunch of transformed people who are already trained in their respective area and then further trained in uh, the quantum stuff that con quantum worldview contributes into the field of therapy or counseling or life coaching whatever have you these experts that we have gathered together today are all experts in their field Plus, they also are experts in quantum healing. Plus, they are people who are on the way to transform themselves to serve you. Transformation means that these people have empathy. These people have training in quantum non-locality. So we talk about empathy in the non-local way. They are in the middle of taking quantum leaps in connection with their research. And they also practice angle hierarchy in relationship. In other words, the practice of those quantum principles that we tell you about every week. In addition, they will be available to you as consultants on their various expertise. These consultants we want to make available in a very cheap way and um, uh, fairly comprehensive way. If you look at our website, you will get all the details. As I said, my job is now over. I turn it to Valentina, please. Right. Just Thank a, you so much. Words. All right. Just a few words because, again, me, you kind of know me from other talks or from other books uh, written with Professor Goswami. So uh, this is the area of... Um, quantum integral psychology and it's about uh, positive mental health and all these wonderful people are in the PhD program and some of them in the postgraduate post PhD program so the idea is to really develop uh, a practical integrative paradigm based on quantum physics for the treatment of mental health with the well-defined scope for the various branches that you know in psychology and as you know, the modern health systems is just based on the idea of disease. And then how to get to the paradigm of transpersonal psychology, how to, how to create positive mental health, uh, you will see working with each of us. Of course, one avenue is relationships, love, for example, and of course, creativity. And uh, the importance of feelings, of emotions, trauma clearance, dream analysis, analysis you know, and creativity of both types, vital and then mental and so on, and including meditation, even as treatment, you know, in order to expand consciousness um, when, again, the spirit will respond. And 
of course, learning to work with intuitions. But again, it's an entire process. And uh, for me, as a medical doctor, um, in all types of healing, it is very important what you do with your mind. You know, if uh, at least the first levels of mental hygiene are not reached and you're really unaware of all the roots that were there, first of all, to create a state of sufferance or disbalance of disease eventually, you know, you have to see where to start. And uh, many times you need to work with um, with someone to get that inspiration and to just get into all this un in that universe to to understand yourself better. So I'm very happy to be together with this wonderful team. And now I'll give the, the word to all, all of them. And this is, again, in response to the many emails that we received about uh, making available consultants on various levels for everybody. Perfect. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Rani, sir, for you know, giving this introduction. I will expand it a little before we go on uh, to the participants today. This is our website, cqaedu.com. In this website, there is this tab called consultancy. If you go here, you can see all these disciplines that can take care of a lot of problems that the society faces today. And these people who are here today, who will be introduced shortly, are answers to a lot of these problems. And we'll know who they are and what they do now. So I am just seeing them on my screen. And maybe uh, in order that I am seeing them, I will call out and uh, request them to introduce themselves and say a few words about what they do and how they can positively contribute towards the well-being of, say, uh, individual or maybe the society in general. So first, Sida, if you can introduce yourself. I mean, your smile is already infectious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christian. Thank you, you all. It's a pleasure to be here with you. So hello, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here with you. Um, my name is Cida Vieira, and I come from Brazil. And I have been a therapist for a few years, and also a mid translator for quite a few years, which is a great gift from heavens. And um, my, my goal in life is, is to really try to help improve people's health with the quantum worldview together uh, putting together all the tools that the quantum worldview brings to us uh, the primacy of consciousness the five bodies of experience uh, trauma cleaning mind cleaning uh, meditation and everything else that we have been lucky enough to learn in this journey with our professors. And this journey I have been taking with uh, Dr. Amit, uh, Dr. Valentina Christian, all of my friends here. It's um, such a beautiful journey. It's, it's something that um, the whole world should know about it. I have been, I, I, I mean, I, I was a therapist before I started taking my master's degree with Dr. Amit Goswami and the whole team. And what I understood was that uh, just uh, trauma cleaning, which was wonderful, very good to bring uh, more health and more balance to all my clients, it was not enough to bring them to really transforming their way of, of living, of thinking, uh, in order not to recreate the same traumas. Mm -hmm. So after my master's degree, now I'm taking the PhD program. And what I have been doing in my sessions is bringing the whole uh, quantum worldview to the person in very simple language, you know, just to make them understand they are more than their physical body, to make them understand that conditioning in their minds are creating all the problems, the health problems they are living. 
And also I have a group and we have included meditation, which is very simple again, because what we do is we practice in order to be able to meditate. In fact, we do some silencing. We observe our minds, our thoughts, some mindfulness, some awareness. We do some some vital um, movements to be aware of our vital body. So we include all this knowledge that I have learned that we all here have learned with with the you know our our beloved teachers, and that has been very rewarding. I have people who are doing only meditation and they have improved their health status, you know, the, their health situation. So uh, it is possible. It is very possible to be balanced, to clean traumas, to clean our clouds in our mind sky, as Amit usually tells us, and uh, to have a healthier life. And that's my objective. That's my goal. <laughs> So thank you all again. Wonderful. Uh, uh, one just a small question here. Uh, this, when you have introduced the vital into your therapies, the other bodies, not the physical bodies, then what specifically do you think or do you see as a change in the patients when they realize, well, this is not just me, not this you know, flesh and blood body. I have more. I am much more than what is visible. How, how do they take that? I think the main difference is that they start realizing they become responsible for their own health as well, their own healing as well. Because before they would come, please uh, fix me. You mm -hmm. know, I have a trauma. I have a problem. I'm feeling very bad. Please help me. Please fix me. Mm -hmm. And then with a, a, a more comprehensive knowledge of who we really are, because I, I have to start slowly. Not everyone is open for this whole language, which is uh, we have to, to recover the knowledge of who we really are. So some people are just, uh, they are in a, let's say, in a situation they don't have that knowledge at all. You know, there is a road back to who we are really. And so we have to go slowly and slowly they, they understand that, oh, it's not the doctor only that's going to heal me, that may help. It's not the therapist that's going to, to heal me. It will, uh, you know, the therapist will help. But if I don't change my way of, of behaving, I will be back again in sickness, in imbalance, in, in, in disease. Absolutely. This this is a truly, truly important point. And once people realize that, it becomes so much easier for both the patient as well as the therapist to handle the situation. Thank you so much, Sida, for sharing this with us. Now I Thank see you. Gayatri on the screen. Gayatri. Namaste. Yeah, namaste, namaste. Would you please introduce yourself and Hi. say a few Hi, things? Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. It's lovely to be with my cohorts and uh, all the members of the, the Center for Quantum Activism. My name is Gayatri Shailesh. Um, I live part year in the U.S. and in Kerala, South India. Uh, so currently I'm in Asheville, North Carolina, in the mountains of the beautiful Blue Ridge Parkway. And I am a bioenergetic, holistic wellness facilitator and coach. Um, I came to uh, the Center for Quantum Activism with a desire to know how to combine science with what I had been intuiting and feeling for many, many years and decades actually, and just didn't have the language. And I came upon Dr. Goswami's work back in early 2000 actually. And I knew that there was, a, there was something there that I connected to and I knew that I was about to have the language of consciousness and talk about the things that I had been intuiting and feeling for many, many years. My background is really technology. I came from a 29-year uh, information technology field. I'd worked in many, many industries and arenas, including healthcare and education, as well as telecommunications. 
Um, and then very large uh, corporations in America where I was a consultant, I was brought in to do implementations, very fast forward implementations. I left and walked away from that knowing that there was something beyond the digital and the information processing age. And I went in fully into my holistic practice, uh, first as a way to know and transform and heal myself, because I knew at the root of all health issues were imbalanced, suppressed and repressed emotions, trauma, all of that needed to be cleared. So what became apparent to me is people could not access their higher self or their spiritual aspects to evolve and transform if they had not addressed their emotional traumas. And very often when people have been traumatized or have endured circumstances, and uh, you know, somebody's trauma may, may not be a trauma for somebody else, it's just that that particular individual is very sensitive. However they respond to their circumstances or events that have happened in early childhood, is something that they hold in their energy, vital energy, subtle energy body. And if we don't clear this, then there is no room for expansion or transformation. And that became my area and focus of interest, uh, potentially for others, but I first started with me. Because I knew that I had to work on a lot of anxiety and clearing out some belief systems and things, my worldview of the world. So. The quantum worldview gave me this construct and the foundation to stand on to change the sense of connectedness to the oneness. And that was really the basic premise of what I knew to be the truth. And truth is an archetype that I work with for myself as well as others uh, to help them know the truth about themselves. Wonderful. So this connectedness that you spoke about, the oneness. So when you are with a patient. So you build this connectivity uh, with the patient before you do the uh, therapy? Yes. Um, so thank you for asking that. That's a very key part. So I have clients all over the world. And so when COVID came, I actually closed my clinic down when I lived in Seattle. And my, all my clients went on Zoom. So at first, I had a lot of skeptics who'd say, how do you, how do you address their health issues over Zoom? So then I had to get into using very simple language about this sense of quantum entanglement and what that meant, where we bring about a very focused sense of awareness and attention and how we focus and connect with each other with an intentionality of holding space and presence in a very awareful way, but also for the client on the other end to receive and be open and to release, the intention was to release so as to invite in healing and transformation for themselves. So I always start my sessions off, you know, the clients come in and tell me their stories, you know, so I sit and listen, and then I pick up intuitively between the lines of what they're not saying or other things that I'm observing about them. But after that, I, I give them a few moments just to decompress and deconstruct. So I'll start them with their breath, and I'll have them just release and relax and become aware of their physical body. Because very often, many clients who come from trauma have desensitized themselves. So they're unable to feel somatically or viscerally their own sense of their body. So the first challenge is to allow them to connect to themselves. And then I establish that connection through a very focused awareness and attention. And I ask the client to start observing their breath and we kind of get into this entanglement, not only with the breath, but with the focus upon each other. Perfect. This this is something is so very important that uh, even for this endeavor that we are in, the consultancy uh, page and the, uh, and the cohorts that we have who are experts in their own fields, transformed and trained in the way of the quantum consciousness, all this put together, uh, you know, this is for the world. Mm -hmm. So it is critical for us, you know, to have it in a way that anyone can access it without the limitation of space time. So there yes. the oneness really plays a big role. Thank you so much, Gayatri. Thank you. Okay. Now I see Katya on the screen. Katya Hello. already looks like you are in, in your clinic. I am. Okay. I am an expert and I have my own clinic. I work with 10 more colleagues 
from the natural medicine world. I'm very happy doing this. Fortunately, I have a lot of work. So what I see during these years is that patients and people, generally speaking, are much more aware of the necessity of prevention for one side and to integrate other types of medicine to heal. I think that people are starting to get a bit sick of allopathic drugs, or at least they understand that not, that's not uh, the right way to start unless we break a leg. If we break a leg, we, we will need uh, allopathic drugs. And But if the disease is chronic, if the disease is degenerative, or even an acute disease, we shall and we should start with homeopathy, with herbs, with changing the diet or whatever we feel and think and see that it's important for the patient. So for me, this, well, thank you for the invitation at first, and I love to see you all. I consider all of you as my family. Um, so it's very, I'm very happy to be here talking to you and to other people that can, 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 can see us further. It's very important that we, we grow. So a lot of other people should come and join and to spread this seed of quantum activism because we know that the worldview is completely closed to these other bodies, the subtle bodies treating with energy. And we know why. We know there are a lot of lobbies, but it doesn't matter to talk about that right now. But that it's very important that a lot of people come and join, not only to be practitioners or therapists, but also to have to, to their, well, everyone as a doctor or a GP or something, they should have some therapy, some psychotherapy, some naturopath to their practice. So my goal to, to teach, to, to learn with Professor Amit and Professor Valentina and to be in this PhD program is to be a part of science, making science with quantum science. I want to add, such as Gayatri told, I want to add to this uh, old knowledge and sometimes empirical knowledge of treating patients with herbs or with some some functional food. I want to bring science to this and to homeopathy. That is the main center of my research. Wonderful. Now, on the, on the same vein that you spoke about, if I break my leg, then I'll have to go to an allopathy doctor. But let's say if uh, I have to go to a naturopathy doctor and uh, there are certain areas where, say, alternative medicine, naturopathy and homeopathy can really, really help me without any doubt uh, in a very, very uh, consistent way. So this is for the benefit of the viewers who may not be knowing what exactly can, you know, be healed if I approach uh, a practitioner like yourself. Um, there's a lot. The, the list is huge, but I will say probably autoimmune disorders. There are a lot of people suffering from autoimmune disorders even more and more. And it's a chronic, they are chronic situations and people, they are told by their doctors that they should be taking allopathic drugs for the rest of their lives. So yeah. autoimmune disorders, they are a major concern. They are a lot, such, such as uh, uh, arthritis, um, psoriasis, lupus, the list is huge. Yeah, and yeah, there yeah. are many solutions through the diet and and through the homeopathic way, herbs, and also, and because a naturopathic doctor will see the body as a whole, we know that disease comes from the emotion. So when I receive such a, a patient, I will recommend this patient to do psychotherapy. I recommend transpersonal therapy or a quantum psychologist, if it is available, this is the way. Wonderful. Thank you so much. It, it makes the thing so... Yes, this, this is a huge area and particularly this particular aspect because I know people. I think everyone knows people from their personal experiences where they're prescribed drugs for their lives and it becomes such a handicap, right? Yes. So if that is removed, I mean, that is motivation alone to seek consultancy from you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. All right. Next, I see Christina on the screen. Hello, everyone. Uh, 
Thanks very much for being here. I am absolutely honored to be with this uh, wonderful team and our beloved teachers. I am Cristina Dias Alessandrini, a quantum integrative psychotherapist, life coach, and art therapist. I am uh, 66 years old, and uh, I have a long time practicing with people and groups that look for that transformative path. I always give a special place to the creative process as a key element of transformation. I understand that the creative process is the fundamental factor for psychic development and uh, it emerges in the face of situations that the psyche confronts and seeks a certain quality of understanding. People can improve their way of dealing with difficult stuff by touching their inner creative process. When people activate their creative circuit, they can meet the possibilities that made uh, available by consciousness in a way to find new ways and small answers. In this way of thinking, the quantum integrative psychology integrates the knowledge constituted by different approaches in psychology, bringing into light the principles of quantum science as a basic element of understanding the energetic dynamics presented there. Uh, we can impact people who might need support in their vertical development with people and groups. For example, by the metapsychic process that includes four moments to collect, to explore, to co create, and to embody. To collect means to understand the possibilities presents in, in, the, in a certain situation. It will be the head moment. To explore refers to talk and to learn with the situation on a way to better understand. It means the heart moment. To co-create means to coordinate perspectives if uh, they are not aligned, it's okay. This is the Hara moment. It's a very transformative moment. And to embody means to bring life to what is to be done, it will be the moment to do, the hands moment. Uh, I believe that to live is a spiritual path and works with to bring to life the archetypes and uh, to bring love and integrity to each moment. In this way of thinking, the uh, consultant quantum activism is a new possibility that is open to people that look for a new answer to old questions. I am here to serve you. You can count on my heart and my knowledge to create positive mental health. Wonderful. Uh, that was uh, beautiful. You mentioned one thing uh, uh, in your presentation is that you mentioned creativity. So uh, uh, when this is a this is a very very critical part of the whole process that we go through creativity. Without creativity, we are sort of stuck. We don't go anywhere. So how do you introduce creativity uh, with your patients? I knew the first time Dr. Amit mm -hmm. in 1996, and uh, he really touched me at this moment. It was the first time I heard about the uh, situational creativity and fundamental creativity. And since that moment, I always have been trying to bring a moment of creation, of real uh, inner creation and vital creation uh, to whatever I was doing with people. I like very much to work with art and all, all kinds of materials and uh, using different things like uh, drawings and clay and paper and other things. 
and we can impact people by uh, facilitating process when they can just uh, discover new ways of doing old things. Perfect. This is the underscoring point, new ways of doing old things. And maybe in the process, sometimes ways of doing completely new things. Maybe. Why not? Right. Thank you so much. Thank now, you. last but not the least, Philip. So, my name is Philip Bouillard. Uh, I can say that my background started at, like 25 years ago at the search of understanding who I am, like my happiness. I lost kind of my happiness when I was young. And uh, so I did so many training and certification like coaching and LP, hypnotism, shamanism, energy healing, and so on. But I always felt that there was something missing. And um, until I, I understand what Amit, Dr. Amit Goswami was talking about, the nature of reality based on the quantum physics principle. And it goes a lot with uh, what the Dalai Lama says, and spirituality without quantum physics is an incomplete picture of reality. And at the same time, I did a lot of research trying to understand. So it brought me a huge passion for merging this quantum science and this spirituality, try to really understand things. And with this, now I create online programs for spiritual seekers to really understand the true nature of life and experience real happiness by simplifying quantum physics. Uh, and I'm also have the chance and the opportunity to teach uh, the students at the master and the PhD level the first years to really try to simplify things. And uh, my PhD thesis is the, on the topic of true happiness. So really finding our inner flame inside of us. So I'm Canadian. I'm from Quebec, uh, the French part of it. That's maybe explain my accent. So I also work with people that speak French and English. And right now I moved to Mexico and I'm working on building a self-sustainable community that's based on sacred geometry, permaculture, energy abundance, quantum physics principles. So really to not only do it in our work, but also live it fully. And it's, and what right now my biggest focus is the online program for quantum happiness. Uh, so working with groups bring a very different dynamic. Uh, sometimes we don't see ourselves, and so others become our mirror, and we become uh, entangled. So we use this entangled re relationship between people so we can have a bigger transformation because we work with things that are specifically to us, but as a group. So we have those two things that work. So we work on limiting belief, trauma, relie relief in negative emotions, but the real thing is to connect to our true purpose. So you learn to access your higher state of consciousness and unlock your full potential. And so this is the goal of what I'm working. So we want to healing and transformation at the same time. So whether you work, uh, you start your spiritual practices or you're an experienced person, uh, those programs are rare for every level to grow and to live really to your best self. And one thing is important is to understand that you discover your true happiness not by chasing it, but there it's really something that you experience from within. So it's really create your happiness from within this experience. So now I have this knowledge with my PhD that I'm learning at this university to really bring every knowledge that I have heard and to really understand it. And so we can really understand the process. So we bring wisdom to ourselves, so we can really uh, uh, bring our transformation to the next level instead of having new technology, new tools, but now we're using sometimes the same tools, but with different reality. Uh, so it's really an empowering reality that I'm living since a few years now, in that perspective. So, yeah. Wonderful. What a quest in pursuit of happiness. Yeah. And to you all. Yeah. So, uh, Philip just wanted to uh, clarify one thing. Yes. So someone uh, wants to approach you. Yes. for a consultation, would you be able to do it on an individual basis or on a group basis? So I stopped doing individual. I wasn't, I was doing those before, but I, I had the experience of group also. And I believe that groups really bring things to the next level. A little bit of yeah. interruption, but we can carry on. Yeah. So groups bring things very to the next level because you see yourself also in others, which when you're working one-on-one, -on -one, you don't mm -hmm. see those things. 
And we work with, I work with specific exercise that's for the individuals, but also we're working on kind of the same thing, the same patterns, the same reality. So sometimes the tools won't work for you, but it works for somebody else. But we bring a mix of different experience because we work on the five levels and the five bodies. So some will vibrate with somebody. So that's the synergy of the group brings very a different reality. And I've been so much doing myself group healing for myself. And it's really an, an amazing reality because the, the advantage also, because working with groups, we go a lot of understanding and knowledge, which one-on-one, -on -one, you don't have time for this. Yeah. Uh, so but this bring it to the next level also because of that. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Just wanted so that our audience is clarified about what it is. Great question. Thank you so much. much. And this was so wonderful to have you here. And for the audience, these are just a few jewels that we have, uh, you know, in our family. Uh, in the coming weeks, whenever the opportunity presents itself, we will bring more and more people so that they can talk about themselves. You know what we are up to. And you know that these people have already been there, done that. And now they are open to share their knowledge to help you. And, and uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. You can find all the details here. In case you have any queries, you can always write to us in this email ID. Or you can even approach them. Their contact details are shared on the web page. You can contact them directly. Uh, this is an opportunity that is really, really going to help a lot of you. Thank you so much again and hope to see you soon and in the hope that a lot of people after this will be really, really healthy, happy in this, what Philip was talking about in pursuit of happiness, <laughs> removing trauma, we can see a lot of people. But once the mind is set, mind is all right, everything is good. Yeah. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you, Krishna. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.